So you never know what kind of problems you're going to come to when uh, doing a build. Here's one. So I have this whole wall and I finally connected all the outlets. Well apparently, funny story, the electrician that started this job, he uh, went, sorry for the mess here, he ran the power wire down the wall into the music room which went all the way around and then there's outlets on this side of the wall and when he got to this far wall he never connected this wall to that wall and I never noticed until it was too late and everything is drywalled so now I've got all of these outlets on this side and a number of outlets on the other side that have no power going to them so my best solution this wall is not finished is I'm going to run another cable from the fuse box down, drill a hole into the draw into the stud here, and connect it to this outlet on this side, which will then send power all the way down. As I know that they are all connected, and I tested them. The joys, the joys of something that's not planned that comes up. But I'll get that all finished. It's just one of those little things that comes up. So let's get this uh, let's going. I'm going to be using some 12.2 uh, uh, NB, NMB wire for this one. Pretty heavy duty. Um, there's about eight outlets on this, but this side is going to be running, you know, power tools, saws, and you know, my miter saw, and band saw, radio saws. So... Uh, I just want to get something something nicer for this side or something a little heavier. I'm going to connect it into the fuse panel which we can see over here I've got to open two outlets. I was going to use those for the laundry room but I'm going to change my plans and I'm going to put the power wire for that wall right here and then the laundry room will get its its own for the outlets and I'll share the lights with uh, a different room down here in the basement probably the uh, new room that I built here there's only four lights in this room and there's only I don't know one two in this room I'll make three eventually but that's the plan so now just gotta add a new wire run it all the way across come on down and install it but to do so, I also have to get through the putty pad. So I'll cut a hole in that, add the wire, and go from there. One of the first things, had to take the plate off, take the socket out, and if I go to this side, I use a knife and cut a hole because I have all the sound putty on there. Need to find where that corner was. I'm going to punch that through. I also then took a wood bit here and uh, cut a hole through so that I can insert a cable down and over. I also went at an angle, that way the cable can come down and come through at an angle, come out and go in. So I'm just undoing some wire right now from the, the spool and I'll go ahead and make that long enough cut it and put it up in the in the rafters there and then get it over to the fuse box I turned the fuse box back on for the sub panel I ended up make, moving these breakers over so now it goes music room lights music room power the wall between the tool room and the music room tool room lights tool room power and then it's going to go workout room lights, workout room power, and that's going to be laundry room power. And I'll probably just leave these lights that are on right now on the circuit that they are, which is actually coming off of the fuse panel, the main fuse panel. Originally I was going to do, you know, lights, power, lights, power, lights, power, and redo the laundry room, but I only got eight uh, circuits. So either that or I could put all the lights from the laundry room on the uh, 
circuit for the uh, circuit for the uh, workout room. Anyways, if we come back over. So we got that wire feeding through. The power going to it. Obviously in the music room. The power. And now this whole wall. Let's go down to one of these. And all my saws are gonna be hooked up to. They now all have power, and I can get rid of all these electrical uh, strips that I'm using right now as a temporary solution because I had no power. Woo! Everything works. And it was a pretty clean application. I now have to staple this wire up there still, but it's up there. It goes through the joist and it's out of the way. So that's my solution. Now I'm going to put the drywall patch that I cut out back on and just remud those couple of screws and you probably never tell. And now the wall board is back up, renailed or screwed, and all I have to do is remud it now. And that is all done. Actually, wasn't as bad as I expected. And I got the fuse box all put back together, sub panel put back together, nice and clean. Thank you for watching.